Hello everybody and welcome to Belgique Profound. Of course, as usual with the magnificent Hitman 82 and the illustrious Iron Brew Addict, which he promised today he's not gonna drop. He's not gonna crash, so I'm gonna you put mean, Since you know, in the about five minutes ago he did. <laughs> <laughs> but from now on he won't hush, hush. I have that on camera. Oh good. god no. It's it's gonna be edited after this clip. Oh a no. Bit. Is that gonna be a, a B roll? A little a little bit. A little bit. Here we <laughs> go again. But yeah, we promised last episode we were gonna upgrade, we're gonna buy bigger stuff, so we started with this lovely tractor. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome. It's a Schluter F it's a ten fifty with a front loader of course. Um, Brew commented the bucket doesn't fit it because it's a bit too modern, but it's the bucket that comes with the map, and we know it works with all of the fill types and the bunkers. So yeah, we're gonna go with this bucket. So yeah, um, Hitman called dips on the front loader, so uh, yeah, was screwed, Brew. We have to do uh, the hard work. Indeed, we have to do the driving. Yeah, even even on from the outside. Oh yeah, <laughs> can flip as well. Yeah. You give him a new toy and he's gonna wreck it in a, in, in a minute, really. I would yeah. just like to point out, I am not actually the first person to crash on this episode then. <laughs> I didn't crash. No, he landed on four, four wheels, so... Oh, I like how this thing steers, the, the wheels kind of um, lean a bit. Holy crap, and it has a bit of acceleration, I don't know how I can handle mm. this tractor. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you guys are grabbing tractors and the porch wagons. Holy cows, this thing ever crazy to drive. And we're going to sell, look at this big amount of straw. Bye bye straw, bye bye. Any particular one you'd like, Hannah? I got the blue one. Okay. Where would you like me? Hmm, don't know if we can use that one. Looks a bit high, doesn't it? Um, try if you can dump in that blue trailer there, Hitman. Might be able to use that Thank one. You. Man, the acceleration is crazy on this thing. Nope, doesn't accept the straw. I was afraid of that. Hmm, I wonder if the other trailer does. The little one. I'll go and get it. Mm -hmm. Try it. Can you load this icon? Is Holy that? crazy view on this thing. <laughs> oh man, this is nuts. Uh, looking at everything upside down. What? Yeah, the view is nuts in this thing. Um, can you load in this uh, iPhone, Headman? Nah, don't use the tiny one. It's rubbish. If Headman can load this one, we're gonna buy a second one of this and sell up the whole. Okay, man. This views all over the place. And um, press five and see if it stabilizes. If you uh, select the tracker, five on the key five, not number five. No, you can still uh, basically turn the screen and look under it and look at everything upside down. Nope, that's gonna be a problem as well. Yeah, we don't have the height. Dang so it. what we need is a couple forged uh, tippers. Uh, this is gonna be ongoing with us though, I think, unless we use the uh, kid on the, the straw. Okay, so... 
That ain't going so well. Let me have a look here at the the uh, shop. Yeah, it was looking the same. Not in mods. We don't have anything that's modded. Yeah, we have lots of stylish trailers that would probably do it, but they're probably too tall. <laughs> like that Crooks silage trailer. Yeah, but it only holds grass and chaff. Oh, yes. Welcome to an excellent prepared episode. Well, we just hadn't tried it, is all. Okay, I guess that would be preparing, wouldn't it? Yep. <laughs> so, hmm. You probably would loan the, the uh, self propel one, but there's no point in that. That one holds an okay amount, but it'd be dead slow. We'd almost have, need the low loader trailer. <laughs> to haul that thing around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I've got any in my mods folder. Well, that isn't going to help as much. Nah, yeah, I'm just trying to think on it. Yeah, yeah well, there's the um, mouth that's chaff. It's Aaron's all chaff. chaff. Uh, does the truck take it? Because I know I, I can know. dump it in it, but... I don't know. Let's have a look at it. I'm going to grab the truck. Oh god, we're not going to be buying more trucks, are we? Alright. <laughs> Uh, the alternative is to, uh, we can either use the crane to load them, uh, to just to keep going here, or we can find a, a tall, like a higher place to drive up on with this, to, to load them. Where did you run off to? <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Fingers crossed, people. What a dump, what a dump, 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 dump. Do. Deck nabbit. Well, it's gonna be. Well, uh, no problem. Grab the two forge wagons, and I'll have to load load with the crane. Indeed. I think I'm gonna um, uh, mod these trailers then that they accept straw as well. Yeah, it's kind of beep beep. It's kind of dumb that they don't. I mean, in real life, yeah, you can put straw in the tra tippers. I mean, whether or not it would work well is, you know, it's not the point. Want me to back up into the straw? Nah. Where's the other crane in? Any idea? You got a what? Uh, the other um, attachment. You got a bucket? That's the thing that I meant. It's yeah, behind me what? here. I don't see it. Oh, there it is, okay. Okay, well, we're off to a great start. Ten minutes in, and what have we done? We've gotten ten minutes older. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's another ten minutes that I'm not gonna steal away from you. I'm gonna try the other bucket. See if it's any bigger than this one. No, I think you pull capacity oh, okay. is uh, same on both. We need it to is pull a proper forward. bucket, though. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's a proper bucket. At least do that right. I 
In the meantime, I'm gonna look at where we sell this stuff. It's at the Biogear, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a little straw bunker there. That's the one over by 21 and 22, in it? No, it's not. No, that's the biogas plant. Where you need to go is um, field 27 and 38. See those on your mini map? And 26. Well, I'm this. Yep. Why don't you take them over there and, look, and show them? Like, just take a vehicle over so he can tap to it or whatever and show where it goes. Okay. Take the truck <laughs> or something. Yeah, what's he giggling about? No, before you even said take the truck, he was already running out the truck. That's because we share a brain. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that up to Just, you. He's greedy and keeps it most of the time, huh? Indeed. No, I was waiting for the instructions. There, that'll, that'll work better. Hey, look, there's a road running through this field. Wonder how that happened. Yeah, I wonder how that got there. Must be the mod author did it. Yeah, probably. Well, actually, it was the pixies. Oh, thank goodness that thing's shut off now. <laughs> You really do hate that tractor. Um, yeah, I'm getting to hate it more and more. It's just, it's noisy and I just don't like the look of it. almost loaded. Did you find the cell point yet, Carl? Yep. I'm just parking the truck up there at the moment. Mm. Well, I was on the Starco Glass forum, forums, uh, not forums, uh, TeamSpeak earlier. And one of the people I was talking with there, and he actually suggested I should switch off vehicle resetting and drive your truck into the bottom of the lake. <laughs> I vote for that. <laughs> so Do you thank really you. vote for that brew? Oh, just before you answer, remember I'm an admin here and you're not. Do you really vote for that brew? Thank you, Roger, for that suggestion, but we're not going to implement that because that's going to result in a ban and kicking war on the servers. So. All the servers that we all play you on. Know, uh, the truck, uh, if we had another truck, that would be fine, but we don't, so uh, if we have another truck, uh, I'm not saying uh, I'm in love with that thing. It does have problems that drive me crazy. Yeah, but I think if you use, if you look critically at all mods, you're gonna have problems with them. Nothing's perfect. Especially on a multiplayer server. So, 
So, Brew, if you're gonna tap to the, to, uh, the truck, you're gonna see where you can sell up this car. There it is. The one with the bail. The. Hello. Before you ask, yes, I'm running back to the farm. For a very good reason. To get my dirt bearings yeah. right so I can get the right directions. Okay, bored of that now. I was going to say, do you want to lose weight? Are you trying to say I'm overweight? No, but you say I'm running with a good reason. And usually <laughs> people run with the reason of to lose weight. I do need to lose weight, mind you, but no, I used to run six miles before breakfast every day. What, what time did you eat breakfast? 6 a.m. I thought you were going to say it like noon or something. Well, then it would be called lunch. No, I just had my breakfast at like 1.30 p.m. That was back in my military days, obviously. It's such a busy day today, I didn't have time to eat. I've always got time to eat, no matter what. That's maybe why I need to lose weight. Hmm. Hmm, that could be a reason. You know, the doctors over here have a fond habit of blaming everything on weight. That's because it's the cause of most problems. Okay, bro, you're good to go, I think. Yep. That and smoking is a really bad one. Is that a hint, is it? Not so much <laughs> a hint as a, a statement. No, I think everybody everybody should be free uh, to live the, li the life they want to live. I mean, they, you can force anybody to stop smoking or lose weight if they're happy and they enjoy what they're doing. Well, all the better for them. Yeah, well, that's great and all, but if you're paying health insurance to pay for some people who choose to smoke and choose to um, kick the crap out of the health system because of their lung cancer and like I don't know I, I should I think that just health um, health premiums should all be uh, should all hinge on whether or not you smoke or well basically your habits whether you smoke or you drink or if you're overweight um, all of that should be factored into how much you pay um, that's just me. No. Can I say something about farming, please? <laughs> sure. Cara, no. did you just drive through this field? Yeah. Because you flattened half the crops, mate. No, that was already there. Oh, was it? Okay. Then I am sorry I accused you of something, then. But back to but that. I actually did that with a different tractor. Okay. Cara, what are you doing? I don't know where do you want the this thing part. Right where I'm standing? Yeah, keep standing there so I get something to aim at. <laughs> what? Oh, this tractor's slow. Watch this, he's gonna move it half an inch and then... I aimed directly, you were standing here, I aimed directly at you. Oh yeah. Mm. If you wanted this, you should, you should have said parallel to the, to the crane. Yeah, but how, do you t how can you tell where your crane is from here? I guess it's probably east. Turn 
that crap off. <laughs> what beacon on? Here you go. Oh, kill my friend right away. <laughs> But coming back again to the people who smoke or drink or eat too much, by all means keep at it. Um, if you don't do it, my taxes are gonna raise. So <laughs> by all means, nah, I'm kidding. Everybody should be free to choose what they do and what they don't. That's what they fought for in the Second World War. Indeed. Which is actually 70 years since D Day tomorrow. Hmm. Didn't know if you guys knew that. I knew. Oh, okay. I was actually trying to send intelligence for once. I talked to my dad-in-law uh, about that today, so... Very special event, if you ask me. Indeed. A lot of, lot of uh, good men died there for our freedom. Yep. And... Some of them were smokers as well. Actually, probably most of them were smokers during the war, weren't they? Mm, yeah, I think so. But I mean, I know when I was in the military, a lot of us were smokers because it was something to do. FYI, I am. Uh, I, I did quit smoking as enough for the first. Well, when I, when I quit smoking at 26, I had smoked half my life. And that was more years ago than I cared to think of. And there's no question, it was the hardest thing I ever did, and it was also the most important thing I ever did. Because once I quit smoking and I, I quit cold turkey, I knew there was nothing else I couldn't do. Have a baby? Yourself, not with a woman? Well, I meant <laughs> I've got a really uh, weird word for you. You're calling people that have babies stupid now, Hitman? No. Oh, I meant there goes stupid half idea. <laughs> Brew, look up. No, I was just gonna dump it on you. No, I've just had a really, really weird thing happen. Like, when we started this episode, my phone was actually flashing and battery was going to die. And now it's flashing saying that the battery's full. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now it's flashing saying it's empty again. Oh well. Oh, I just punched myself in the face. Uh -huh. What are we doing for time, Hitman? Um, we're still okay for a bit more. <laughs> Till about five after five after two game time. PM. Or some derp says it's oh there's twelve hours in there. I don't know what you would say it though. Probably brew because he says that's fourteen hundred at two is in the morning. Yep. You know I would. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry it wasn't responding, I was focusing but I had some issues. Need a tissue? <laughs> no. My face is really sore. Uh, I think Bru needs a tissue. No, I just punched myself in the face and I said, ah, it hurt. I was trying to itch my, my side of my head and for some reason I punched myself. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'd say if you want the pain to stop, stop punching yourself in the head. Ah. Uh. I uh, speed just killed off 24 brains. Uh, never mind, actually, I'm not going to finish that. We'll you were going to say now. you just killed off uh, 24 brain cells? No comment. 
That's impossible because you you had only twenty left. Oh. That's not very nice. Besides, you kill more than that every day. You smoke. Oh, we're back to this again, are we? Never left. I suppose you haven't had a go at me for a, for a while, have you? Smoking is an indefensible thing. You, there's no zero excuse for it. You can make up all the stuff you want, but not, it's all BS at the end of the day. The only good that comes out of that is it supports tobacco companies. Oh Indeed. wait, that's only good for them. No, okay, and, cool there. It, and uh, it pays for taxes. No, it's it may pay some taxes, but I don't imagine it covers what it costs the medical system. You would be surprised over here. A normal pack of fags costs me twenty fags cost me eight pounds, which is about nine euros roughly. Wow, not enough. Don't know how much it would cost it over for you, Cara, but that gives you half an idea. When I was in Australia, I come back through Singapore, and I bought 20 fags there, and they cost me £5 for 200 So I was like, I'm taking the 200 Now I'll move a bit, car so you can line up a bit better. Alright. So we probably won't move all this today. Um, can you hit mm. and check your PDA and see how much straw is left in here? I don't really have time to do it. Straw, 100,000, 145,890. <laughs> I'm moving 1,800 at a time. <laughs> like unloading biogas. Oh, can you imagine doing that with this? Uh, I can. Oh, wait, wait, that's how we load it in the first place from here, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all fun. Any, uh, any luck on a mobile forge, um, machine? Uh, yes. Yes and no. Yes, I have been pointed towards one which looks pretty good. It's a class one. Um, no, it's actually a bit too modern, but I think I'm gonna mm, let them, that one slide because it would be a nice change for the kit because the kit's been used so many times already. Even though the kit or the portrait does kind of fit our farm better. Indeed, but I love the portrait. we want we want to mm, try a bit different things as well. In exactly. my opinion, I agree. So we are nearing that time. Just enough Indeed time for an are. extra little channel plug. So you got anything to say? Say it. Um, extra little channel pack. Uh, well, started single player Terra Firma craft se series, uh, hmm. progressing quite nicely there. I uh, picked up Magic Farm 2 again, which I'm really getting into the technicals aspect now, as well as the magic aspect. I'm going Tomcraft a uh, couple of episodes, so that's about it. I've been showing my Tech World 2 build. I've got four of them up now, I think. Including building my new tech building. <laughs> and how to use construction foam, and how to use the scaffolding. I had my second death today. <laughs> Not on screen now. Picked up some uh, uranium because I was messing with the uranium bees trying to <laughs> get some fuel for my reactor. and. Why are you giggling? How many times did you die? <laughs> See, I died once from it. How many times did you die from it? Before in, you in, finally... in Bruce's defense, he does go out. He, um, yes, but he stood there and died. How many times the radiation in, in within a five minute period? Three. 
Ish. So what are you laughing at? Uh, you can park that machine, by the way. We're done here. So, yeah, I'm up to two deaths, and Brew's up to 130 what? Two. <laughs> I do think I hold the best death message ever, though. That one, were you on the server when I got, got caught the wrong train? Yep. <laughs> Oh, that yeah, was a good one. A few times the trains. Anyway, so I guess uh, we'll see you again. Uh, Fad won't be here for our next um, few videos, so yep. we'll see what we'll have. Moving. He's moving on out. So we shall see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Catch you later, guys.